So this is a story that we had followed back in the days. Uh, there were two black guys who had entered a Starbucks and they had been hanging on for way too long and they didn't have any intent to purchase anything. So they were using the Starbucks for discussion, chilling, and this annoyed a Starbucks manager who decided to take it upon herself to call the police and uh, evict those two black guys. And this had made a whole story in the press. The, there was a bunch of black protesters who had shown on the, at the Starbucks. The two black guys were featured in multiple media outlets. You might remember them if I show a picture here. So, and the whole story being, oh, they are, they are mistreating us because we're black, because we were just waiting for our friends. Uh, let us wait for our friends. Now, whether you're waiting for friends or not, it is the absolute right of a business to kick you out of their place if you are consuming a space that other customers could have then you are effectively a cost to them. And if you do not generate an equivalent purchase that makes them profit from your presence, they are entirely uh, allowed to ask the police to evict you, to tell you, we don't want you here. Please leave. That is trespass. Um, so she was acting totally within the law, but the CEO of Starbucks had been... Uh, had been turned against her, uh, and he had decided to go on a spree of apology to the black community and to, to adopt policies that he eventually had to revert. But he adopted first, in response to all this, he adopted policies that were sending Starbucks employees to training, uh, education programs against racism, and there was a new policy across the whole of Starbucks, across the nation, that basically black people can, <laughs> can do whatever they want in a Starbucks. The whole idea was, yeah, the, the, the toilet should be fully accessible to anyone, even if they don't buy Starbucks items. Uh, basically, the, the managers across the nation were taught, you don't. You don't kick someone out. Um, for this. Now, Mark D's channel says, that idiot won the 25 million? No, and that's the, the beautiful white pill today. The white manager who had called the police, uh, people will remember recently there was a, a, a store, store of clothes where the manager called the police and they were reprimanded. They were told, no, no, we cannot... We cannot call the police on thieves. In this case, it was thieves uh, that he was calling the police against. But here, the manager was fired also. People don't remember this, but in 2018, this white manager, Shannon Phillips, who had done her job, uh, who, who was making sure that there weren't people staying into our Starbucks without paying, uh, she was fired. And today there was a decision by a jury that her firing was an anti-white racist act by Starbucks and that she is now owed $25.6 million. That is a massive, very important decision. Because in those places of uh, leftism, leftist states, you know, it's in New Jersey, uh, we all know that New Jersey law, just like most laws in the U.S., prohibit discrimination based on race. But we also know that the leftists are trying hard to act as if uh, the white race doesn't count in all this. That it's impossible to be bigoted against white people. And they have all sorts of justifications, including this conception that Racism cannot exist against white people because white people have power. And racism, uh, if it exists, must be in a, in a situation where the discrimination is combined with an inappropriate power being applied towards someone else. But of course, uh, if you're white, 
you know very well that it's not all white people who have power. In fact, just most white people are just as poor and as regular and, and as powerless as any people of any other race. So, um, of course, it's a it's a cliche that the Marxists are trying to to use to justify a differential treatment. But thankfully, here the justice system and a jury, a jury of peers, I'm surprised by this, that a bunch of normies ultimately have decided to subscribe to the racism against whites as possible theory. So this has massive implications because now the Lulu Lulu Lemon CEO, uh, Rodi Lacid was reminding me that the, this uh, clothing store was Lulu Lemon, Starbucks, all of these companies that are trying to go above and beyond in terms of siding with the racial revolution against white people, they're going to have to pay. And that is beautiful because... There was no limit set, unfortunately, on this. It's like when a leftist CEO wanted to demonstrate to their stockholders and to whoever controls them that they were truly pro-black and pro-LGBT and pro-all this, they were going above and beyond. They were dunking onto white people. We've even had this uh, Project Veritas revelation from within Google, I believe. Where, where the woman was saying, yeah, you know, no one, no one has the white guys back anymore. Like, if, if you're white and you get fired, no one is there for you. Well, this story proves the contrary, that there is a bunch of normies out there who live among us and they're willing to protect, give the same protections to white people that black people have been enjoying for a couple of decades. So... This is uh, titled Across the Mainstream Media. Starbucks says it fired her for an absence of leadership. <laughs> of course, imagine you're the jury and Starbucks is trying to make the case. Oh, no, it, it, it had nothing to do with this story uh, and the fact that she's white. Uh, we, we fired her because she lacked leadership in, a, in this situation or in her work in general. The jury called bullshit on Starbucks' uh, attempt, and they said, no, no, you fired her because she was white. Uh, people will remember the Starbucks CEO had went on an apology tour. It was like self-destructive the way he's done it. In the same way Bud Light has been self-destructive with their behavior with uh, Dylan Mulvaney, and this whole self-destructive tendency that is very much living on the back of white people, I think we have reached, we will soon or we have already reached the peak of it in the sense that companies will start saying, all right, if I, if I do anything against black people, I'm punished. But if I do anything against white people, I'm also going to be punished. So maybe it's best to just shut up and continue my work as a corporate agent and serve whoever comes and apply the same rules to everyone. That is what I hope will come from this event, this jury finding 25 million. Starbucks manager fired after cops called on black men wins nearly 26 million because she was white. Ex-Starbucks manager awarded 25.6 million and Daily Beast also titles around this. Beautiful events, and I think it uh, shows a great future where the corporates out there, they will be shaking in their pants to be doing this kind of attack against now white people too.